Good morning, good evening, good night. Wherever you may be watching this transmission, it is I, Mike Martins. Welcome to Coach's Corner. And what am I talking about? I'm talking about uh, Don Cherry, the legend of Coach's Corner uh, from 1986 to 2019. And my dad, my late dad, I'm wearing his Toronto Maple Leafs hat here, used to watch... Probably still in heaven watching the Toronto Maple Leafs. Has the team gotten any better lately? Not really. Has the team... Well, we're not going to talk about where the team's headed. But let's talk about what happened with Hockey Night in Canada. Coach's Corner host, Don Cherry. Apparently, he was fired. Well, he was fired. It was not apparently. He was fired for apparently using words that hurt someone's feelings or hurt... Somebody or somebody got offended by something. And we've been seeing this feelings uh, war that's been happening in the last, I don't know, three, four years. I think it's ever since Donald Trump won the election, the whole feelings war started to take off and everybody's being punished uh, for that. Um, so here it is. Donald Stewart Cher Cherry, born February 5th, 1934, is a Canadian former ICE former. They already updated this. Ice hockey commentator, he is also a sports writer as well as a retired professional hockey player and National Hockey League NHL coach. So basically he was a coach, then he, he, he uh, uh, was a player, then a coach, then went, went on to basically uh, host, co-host uh, Coach's Corner. I don't know who the other guy was, I, don't, I remember him like once or twice. But everybody remember Don Cherry with the flashy suits. Every time he came on, he had a new suit, a beautiful tie, a different tie. If it, if it was if it was St. Patrick's Day, he wore a green tie with a leprechaun. If it was Canada Day, he'd wear a Canadian tie with a Canadian flag. If it was America Day or Fourth of July, he'd wear an American tie with the star and stripes, and a, sometimes an American all suit, sometimes a Canadian all suit. Man, Don Cherry was the man of mans, and he really represented. R huge representation, okay, when it came to uh, Christmas, when it came to Halloween, he was, he was, you know, Coach's Corner was something me and my dad would sit together and watch and listen to his commentary, and my dad always asked me to translate into Portuguese what he was talking about, because my dad always wanted to know what he was talking about, and Something happened. Well, let's let's look at some photos here of Don Cherry and his dog Blue. That was donated to him by a, Bo a Boston fan or Boston team or Boston player or something. Donated his dog Blue, which has which passed away many years ago, if I if I recall. And yeah, Don Cherry was was a man of the community, a man that knew his stuff, that really knew hockey and really. Really was out there, and the, look, he even had his own toy, had his own, like, you know what I'm saying? He, he, Don Cherry was, you know, always there for the elderly. He was always there for the community. There he is here. Don Cherry and his dog, Blue, and his checkered pants. And look at him here. In a pink suit jacket. I don't know who made these jackets for him. But man, he's this guy. This guy knew how to, how to wear them. Look at that, toys. One day, guys, if they make a Mike Martin's toy, would you guys buy it? I I, I won't blame you if you don't. Okay. All right, let's move on. So let's look at his Twitter here. So Don Cherry, latest Twitter. So this is what's coming up on Twitter. Get the inside scoop on Coach's Corner with tweets from Don Cherry and Kathy. So this is old. So this is like a Coach's Corner update. They still haven't updated that. And then, okay, here we go. So Candace uh, McCollum is saying, CBC, in a nutshell, lie about what Cherry said, invent a narrative, then challenge their own narrative. That's usually what happens now. The mainstream media nowadays is not the watchdog for, for us. They basically like to create things, invent things, right? If you are a poppy, uh, if you were a poppy and support our troops, Don Cherry was not talking about you. So poppy wearing newcomers challenged and you fired Don Cherry's immigration. Calgary newcomers who proudly wear poppies 
at this time every year say the claim that now mark the end of Don Cherry's career weren't true. Uh, no, it wasn't true. And here it is. He got fired over this. Yeah, he got fired over this. And if people don't know Don Cherry, he is an old schooler. And he understands community and understands what lacks in community. And he, um, he, and he was... Okay, let's look at the video here. Let's break down the video. Uh, I don't know what this lady's talking about. Nobody cares about her. Let's move on here to what's going on here. Here it goes. I'm not going to run the poppy thing anymore because what's the sense? I live in Mississauga. Nobody wears... Uh, uh, very few people wear uh, a poppy. Down so he lives in Mississauga, which is uh, a town on the outskirts of Ontario, a uh, town uh, on the outskirts of Toronto. Uh, it's a town outside of Toronto. It's a city, actually. Okay. Downtown Toronto. Forget it, downtown Toronto. Nobody wears a poppy. Nobody wears a poppy in downtown Toronto. Okay. And I believe him because this new generation is... Uh, Something boomer, what is it? Okay, boomer, or whatever, b b generation. And I'm not going to wait. He says, wait a minute. How about running it for the people that buy them? Now, you go to the small cities, and you know, you, you know those, the rows on rows, you people love, you, you, they come here, whatever it is, you love our way of life, you love our milk and honey, at least you could pay a couple of bucks for poppies. I don't know what he's, so I, I don't know what they're trying to say on the other what the media is trying to say, but, but, but you, I'm one of those guys. I can't, you know, a lot of us came here. All of us came to Canada one way or another. None of us are native to Canada that, that have immigrated here. So except the aboriginals that were here first. Now you go to the small cities and you know, you, you know, those, the rows on rows, you people love, you, you, they come here, whatever it is, you love our way of life, you love our milk and honey, at least you could pay a couple of bucks for poppies or something like that. These guys pay for your way of life that you enjoy in Canada. These guys pay the... Uh... Yeah, but he's talking about all of us. He's not, he's talking about everybody in Canada. Even, I think he's maybe, what he's targeting more are the millennials, the young ones. Because we all came here one way or another. Either it's from woman, born born from a woman, or we came here. So let's look at the language here again. Nobody wears a poppy. And I'm not going to wait. He says, wait a minute. How about running it for the people that buy them? Now so nowadays, you've got to be really careful with language, people. So You go to the small cities, and you know, you, you know those, the rows on rows, you people love, you, you, they come here, whatever it is, you love our... You people that come here or whatever it is, could it be people that are visiting the city? Could it be people that have immigrated to the city or intermigrated people from other provinces? Right? I'm not trying to defend him. I'm just trying to understand the language here. Our way of life. You love our milk and honey. At least you could pay a couple of bucks for a poppy. Like my dad, who passed away a few months back. He loved the milk and honey in Canada. And he respected the 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 what Canada did, and and respected, you know, you know, from my family as immigrants, we we basically worked, you know, towards building that lifestyle, you know, the the the, the Canadian dream, right? Or something like that. These guys pay for your way of life. They did pay for our way of life. That's not a lie or or any misconception life that you enjoy in Canada these guys which we enjoy in Canada for now I'm not saying I'm saying like now look at what's happening here his words are basically being turned against them and destroying him I paid the uh, the biggest price I'm just trying to find out what I'm finding here I'm not going to run the poppy thing anymore because what's the sense? I live in Mississauga. Nobody wears, uh, uh, very few people wear uh, a poppy. Yeah. So he's not talking about, let's go back to the tweet here. He's talking about people who don't wear a poppy. He doesn't talk about immigrants. That's the thing. He's talking about everybody. But I, uh, I in my mind, in the back of my mind, I believe he's, um, this is my opinion. Talking about the millennials, the the young generation, I don't think 
I don't think he mentions. Uh, I don't think he, what he he's not targeting immigrants. And I'm being wholehearted with you guys on this one. I, I mean, I mean, I'll call a spade a spade if I have to. But downtown Toronto, forget it. Downtown Toronto, nobody wears a poppy. Okay, big city, nobody wears a poppy. And I'm not going to. He says, wait a minute. How about running it for the people that buy them? Now, now you go to the small cities, and you know, you, you know those the rows on rows. You people love you, you. They come here, whatever it is. You love our. So people that come here, whatever it is. So. It could be people coming to the city or from the smaller cities. Way of life. You love our milk and honey. At least you could pay a couple of bucks for poppies or something like that. I don't see. I, I, you know what? He's basically telling. He's being patriotic. He's being patriotic. Raise the flag. You know. Put your hands up in, 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 in victory that we basically have this life. He's being patriotic, okay? Don Cherry criticized for comments. Don Cherry this uh, said on Saturday on his weekly Coach's Corner segment that he's less frequently seeing people wearing poppies anymore to honor fallen Canadian soldiers, and he signaled out those he believes are... Im he never said that. What? Who is this? Global... But he never said that. He singled out those he believes are immigrants in Toronto? I, I, that doesn't make any sense. Like, that makes no sense. Now they're twisted in language. Here we go. Twitter reacts to Don Cherry's poppy rant. The hockey commentator made bigoted remarks on national television. What else is new? Here's what Canadians have to say. Don Cherry, blah, blah, blah. His comments. You people love your way of life. Uh, you people love our way of life. Love our milk and honey. And... At least you could do you, you could pay a couple of bucks for poppies or something like that. This is who is this? Rosa Huang. So yeah, they want to bury everything that is uh, all Canadian. It's gonna start with uh oh Jagmeat. Yeah, oh yeah, he's gonna have to weigh in on this, of course. All these people in there commenting. What are they? Don Cherry. I proudly wear my poppy to honor the sacrifice of our soldiers. Their sacrifice meant that all Canadians. Uh, including Canadians like me who came to our country with very little have the opportunity to succeed. Dividing Canadians like you did move us backwards. I, you know what? So here it is. Yeah, here we go. John Tory, all these people, all these people that lean to the left, everything. To, so let's, you know, like, wow, really? So, well, Canadian, so what about the mass deportation of Portuguese in 2006 and 2007 and 2008 in Canada? What about that? Picking them up at work and putting them on plane and not, not letting them... They're, no, they're forgetting about that. That was in 2006 and 7 and 8. That wasn't in uh, 1904. But yeah, but they want to pick on things like this. Wow. I meant, uh, I meant, I meant it. Don Cherry fired over controversial poppy. Yeah, and he's not backing down. He meant it. Don Cherry says he's been fired from Hockey Night in Canada in in uh, uh, in Canada by Sportsnet. The legendary star of Coach's Corner says he will not walk back, uh, walk back what he said on Saturday. Yeah. I mean, I don't have my poppy on. I'll tell you why. I, I can't find it. I dropped it. But I have a box of them at my store. And I'm selling them at my store. Okay? I have one on my shirt at the store. And then I have a whole bunch of them on my counter. And I have a box full of money that we raised for the local legion. Okay? My kid has one on her jacket. My mom has one on her jacket. They all bought one from my store. And the legendary star of Coach's Corner says he will not walk back what he said on Saturday. I have just learned I've been fired by Sportsnet for comments made on Coach's Corner on November 9th. Cherry told me in a phone interview, no problem. Cherry added, I, I, I know what I said and I meant it. Everybody in Canada should wear a poppy to honor our fallen soldiers. And Cherry said his words were not radically or bigoted, by, but patriotic and respectful of our troops. That's right. Still, these comments prompted Sportsnet to axe Cherry. In a two-paragraph statement Monday afternoon, Sportsnet confirmed that they were cutting ties with Cherry. Sports br uh, brings people together. It unites. I'm not going to even care uh, You know what 
these people have uh, to say there at Sportsnet. Don is uh, synonymous with hockey, synonymous with hockey, and has played an integral role in growing the game in the past 40 years. Hell yeah, he has. Don Cherry's remarks on Saturday night were di- dis- divisive, discriminatory, and offensive, and respect sports uh, Sportsnet's decision. Yeah, you know, I'm never going to watch. I'm not watching Sportsnet again. Uh, bro- uh, broadcast watchdog can't take any more complaints about Don Cherry's you people comment. He's talking about you people that basically don't wear poppies. That's what he's trying to say. Joining us now for more on this con- To the point and factual is that there were more people that looked like me who volunteered in World War I more than the Scottish, the Welsh, the Irish, or even Canadian. Oh, so they want to go back to World War I. Yeah. Yeah. Don Cherry firing doesn't solve the problem. His poppy comment highlighted World War I, historian says. So, Canada's just bright, clean slate of, of, of you know, multiculturalism but they don't they don't want to talk about massive massive portuguese deported massive families deported even to countries they never lived in look even my video i made portuguese deported for canada tens of thousands even look the mercer report made a video about it tens of thousands of portuguese Deported. Look at this. Portuguese deportation from Canada. There's Nelly Furtado is Portuguese. Well, this is this is well, this is an old new, but I decided to post this post it to showing how living abroad can be tough for immigrants no matter where they're from. In two thousand and five, the Canadian government deported several Portuguese families and have been in the country for seven years and some with 10 and 15 years living abroad. They have honest jobs and pay their taxes, contribute to productivity and GDP of Canada. They are So when Canada wants to bring this bleach clean, tens of thousands of Portuguese were deported, and a mass purging of families were basically removed from Canada. Okay? You know how bad it was? They went to our high schools, and they brought people down to the gymnasium that were of Portuguese descent and they would ask them to stay there until their parents brought paperwork and they would deport them there and then right there and then with uh, no questions asked, no debates. Now, um, families, all this stuff, they're getting rid of, the the media is doing a good job. Uh, Deportation from Canada. They're taking, the media is doing a good job scrubbing all these, uh, um see deportation nationals from everywhere but but they don't they don't they, the, the media is doing a good draw a job scrubbing a lot a lot of these articles even though the media says they never remove articles mm, yeah i i beg to differ they're taking away all these articles and i had hundreds on here which i posted on a video 3 years ago 4 years ago for you guys and now you bring it up it's almost like it's gone but that's okay. I'll just go back to Toronto and I'll start interviewing people that were there and former teachers and principals of the high school to find this out. Why am I bringing this up on the Don Cherry thing? Well, as clean as Canada wants to look, it has a really dark history with the Portuguese. So I have to bring this up every time because I, you know what? I have a right to. Like this guy, who is it? This guy here has a right to bring up what he wants. Everybody has a right to. So I know my what my views don't count. They don't matter in the in the subject. But what I want to say is Don Cherry is he's a definitely a stand up guy, and you know, and watching that coach's corner mo- motivates me to go to my store and put a poppy. Go find a, find my poppy or go to the store and put one on. I like kids, I have little kids here running around throwing clothing around and stuff so things get lost, okay? Or my wife picked it up because the pin will stick in some kid's foot on one of the baby's foot. But all I'm saying is that there's a lot more that meets the eye uh, about Canada and Canada trying to make itself look like this great 
uh, liberal safe haven and Canada's making itself as a safe space for the world by opening its doors. And, and realistically, it's got a dark history. So let them continue doing what they're doing. I'm just going to compile and make a nice long documentary and interview a ton of people that were, de- I'll even go to Portugal to interview people that were deported from Canada, that were working here 10, 15 years and owned their homes free and clear and were put on a plane with their work clothes in handcuffs. Okay? So we'll do that. So there it is there. So I don't think he, I don't think he was picking on immigrants. That's, or, or, or on immig, No. No. There's more than meets the eye, guys. Let me know about this Don Cherry thing, what you guys think of it. I would like to know. Thanks for watching.